In the previous module, you learned the expansion of a binomial raised to any positive integral index using Pascal's triangle. For example, the expansion of x plus y whole raised to the power of n is as shown. In this module, let us look at some special cases of binomial expansion. Let's begin with the first case when x is equal to a and y is equal to minus b. Substituting the values of x and y in equation 1 and then simplifying, we get the expansion as shown. Denote this by equation 2. Using this expansion, let us expand 2x minus y whole raised to the power of 4. By using the binomial expansion of a minus b whole raised to the power n, we get the expansion as shown. Substituting the values of the binomial coefficients and then simplifying, we get the expansion as 16 x raised to the power 4 minus 32 x raised to the power 3 into y plus 24 x square into y square minus 8 x into y raised to the power 3 plus y raised to the power 4. Let us consider another case now. Consider the binomial expansion of x plus y whole raised to the power n. When x is equal to 1, the binomial is 1 plus y whole raised to the power of n. This can be simplified further to get the expression shown here. Further, when y is also equal to 1, the expression is as shown. This is the simplified form. This is a formula to find the sum of the coefficients of a binomial expansion. Let us understand one more case of binomial expansion. Recall the expansion of 1 plus x whole raised to the power of n. Denote this by equation 3. When x is equal to minus y, equation 3 can be written as shown. The simplified form of the expansion is shown here. Now, when y is equal to 1, we get 1 minus 1 whole raised to the power n is equal to nc0 minus nc1 plus nc2 minus nc3 and so on up to minus 1 whole raised to the power n into ncn. nc0 minus nc1 plus nc2 minus nc3 and so on plus minus 1 raised to the power of n into ncn is equal to 0. By transposing all negative terms to the other side of the equation, we get nc0 plus nc2 plus nc4 plus and so on is equal to nc1 plus nc3 plus nc5 and so on. This implies that the sum of the coefficients of the odd numbered terms of the expansion is equal to the sum of the coefficients of its even numbered terms.